Hello, I'm Simone Young and I'm appearing as guest conductor with the Queensland Symphony Orchestra. I'm very much looking forward to performing what I believe will be the Australian premiere of Brett Dean's Notturno in Quieto. Um, it's a fascinating piece, quite short, um, and it starts with solo viola, the viola from the orchestra, and then the second solo viola joins, and then the third, and so on. So it really focuses on the viola section of the orchestra, and I thought it was going to be very interesting to do that immediately before having a viola player as soloist for a concerto. I was lucky enough to be at the premiere of this work with the Berlin Philharmonic and was immediately impressed with its great beauty and atmospheric nature and I, I'm looking forward to introducing Queensland audiences to it. Yeah, Niels Mönkemeyer is one of the current fabulous crop of starry string players travelling around Europe. Niels and I worked in Hamburg a number of years ago and hit it off immediately. We found a common musical ground and um, just struck up a great friendship which um, has continued. So I'm greatly looking forward to performing with Niels here in Brisbane. Um, there are probably two great concertos written for the viola in the 20th century, Bartok and Walton. And these are absolute classic mainstays of the viola and orchestra repertoire. Um, the Bartok has a very immediate impact. Um, it's very vibrant in the fast movements, very lyrical and quite tender, quite tragic in the slow movements. And um, I think for those of you for whom it's new, uh, there's a great masterpiece waiting to be discovered for you and for those of you who've loved it for decades, as I have done, it will be great to revisit this wonderful work. Schubert's Symphony No. 9 in C major was given the title of The Great, following No. 8, which is referred to as The Unfinished, The Unfall Editor. Um, and sometimes they reverse the numbers. There's some interesting stuff going on there musicologically. But anyway, the great C major symphony, often described as such to compare it with Beethoven small C major, I think, Beethoven number one. Um, Schubert's C major is of a huge and expanded structure. Um, it's very powerful very dramatic and really leaves us wanting more. It leaves the question very much open, where would Schubert have gone with a 10th symphony? I love performing this work. Well, I think this is actually quite a challenging program. Um, some, a work that's very new, very um, different in its musical language and that highlights and showcases certain soloists within the orchestra. That's the Brett Dean piece. The Bartok, a classic masterpiece of the 20th century, but with great rhythmic challenges for everyone, not just the soloist. And then Schubert IX, one of the great masterpieces of the 19th century. So I think that's quite exciting, 19th, 20th, 21st centuries and uh, each piece presenting its own challenges, but each piece also providing us with extraordinary beauty.